Think your data is safe? Think again. Big tech is watching, and they're making billions off you. Every click, every search, every app you use is a gold mine for advertisers, and yes, even governments. Creepy, right? If you're using Windows 11, you're already part of the game. But here's the good news. You can fight back, well, at least to some extent. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to take control of your privacy on Windows 11 step by step. These tips are essential to keeping your data yours. You should watch the entire video as every little detail counts. However, I have included timestamps below if you must skip around. With that said, let us get to it. The first and most crucial step to protecting your privacy on Windows 11 is avoiding a Microsoft account altogether. Instead, use a local account. But why is this so important? Well, a Microsoft account syncs a lot of your data with the cloud. This includes your app settings, browser history, OneDrive files, and more. While this can be convenient, it also means you're sharing a significant amount of personal data with Microsoft, leaving it vulnerable to tracking and data mining. By using a local account, you can keep your data offline and out of Microsoft's reach. Now, here's the catch. With the Windows 11 24H2 update, Microsoft has made it harder than ever to use a local account, especially during the installation process. They now push you toward creating or signing in with a Microsoft account by default, even for the Home and Pro editions. This means that if you're setting up Windows 11 for the first time, creating a local account might seem impossible unless you know the workaround. But don't worry. If you've already set up Windows with a Microsoft account, you can still make the switch. First, create a local account. To do this, go to Settings, Accounts, Other Users, and select Add Account. When prompted, choose I don't have this person sign in information and then add a user without a Microsoft account. Follow the steps to create your new local account. Now, you will have to sign out from your Microsoft account. For this, go to Settings, Accounts, your info and select sign in with a local account instead. This ensures your Microsoft account is no longer the primary login method. Finally, log into your newly created local account and set it as the primary user account for your PC. You can even delete the Microsoft account from the PC entirely if you no longer need it. Switching to a local account won't hinder your ability to use most Windows features. However, Certain features like OneDrive or syncing settings across devices will require a Microsoft account. If you don't use those features often or value your privacy more, this is a worthwhile trade-off. To be honest, if data privacy is a priority for you, Microsoft Edge should not be an option. There are more privacy-focused alternatives that we'll get to in a moment. But if you insist on keeping Edge around, Maybe it's for convenience or some specific feature. There are a few things you can do to improve your privacy settings. If you've updated to the Windows 11 24H2 update, you might notice that uninstalling Edge isn't exactly straightforward anymore. But at the very least, you can block tracking within the browser itself. Here's how. Launch Microsoft Edge. If it's the first launch after a fresh install or update, make sure to select Start without your data. Then, uncheck the box for Bring Over Your Data from Other Browsers Regularly. Click Continue and Confirm. Once you're in the browser, go to Settings, Privacy, Search, and Services. Here's what to tweak. Set Tracking Prevention to Strict. Toggle off options for optional diagnostic data, search and service improvement, and personalization and advertising. These changes won't turn Edge into a privacy fortress, but they will significantly limit the amount of tracking going on in the background. That said, if privacy is really important to you, I'd recommend switching to a browser design with privacy in mind, like Brave, Firefox, or even Tor. These options offer far better protection and give you more control over your data without needing to wrestle with privacy settings every time. Another powerful tool for protecting your privacy is the Windows host file. 
By editing this file, you can block your computer from communicating with specific websites, effectively restricting access to addresses known for collecting user data, even Microsoft's. To get started, we have included a GitHub link in the video description to access a curated list of addresses associated with Microsoft's data collection. Once you have opened this link, in the Microsoft row, click on the host entry. Copy all the entries listed after the last hashtag symbol. These are the domains we'll block. On your computer, navigate to the ETC folder using the display path. You'll find the host file here, but it cannot be edited directly in this location due to system permissions. Drag and drop the host file to your desktop. This allows you to make changes. Right-click the file, select Open With, and choose Notepad. Scroll to the bottom of the file after the last hashtag and paste the entries you copied from GitHub. Each entry will redirect those domains to 0.0.0.0, effectively preventing your computer from reaching them. Save the file. Now drag and drop the edited host file back into the original ETC folder. If prompted, confirm with administrative privileges. By modifying the host file, you're cutting off communication between your computer and the servers known to collect telemetry data. It's a simple but highly effective way to block unwanted tracking at the network level. The Settings app holds valuable configurations that may restrict unwanted data transfer. Here are a few modifications you must make. First, open the Settings app. Navigate to Privacy and Security. Then select General. Here, you'll see four toggles at the top. Turn them all off. The first option, Let Apps Show Me Personalized Ads, by using my advertising ID, allows apps to identify you with a unique Microsoft account advertising ID. Turning it off prevents targeted ads based on your activity. Let websites show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list may seem harmless, but it lets websites access your language settings, giving them one more piece of data about you. Disable it for tighter privacy. Let Windows improve start in search results by tracking app launches is convenient since it allows Microsoft to use this data to personalize your start menu and search experience. However, it is unnecessary if you value your data privacy. Show me suggested content in the settings app must be turned off to keep the settings app focused and distraction free. Now, go back to privacy and security and this time, Select Speech. Disable Online Speech Recognition. This setting allows Microsoft to record and analyze your voice for Cortana or other features. Disabling it ensures your speech data isn't stored or processed online. Again, go back and this time, select Inking and Typing Personalization. Turn off the Custom Inking and Typing Dictionary. This prevents Microsoft from collecting your typing history or handwriting patterns to personalize your experience. We return again to the Privacy and Security window and select Activity History. Uncheck the Store My Activity History on this device option. This ensures your local activity isn't recorded and synced to your Microsoft account. As always, return to the Privacy and Security windows. Click Diagnostics and Feedback. This is where you take stronger control. Toggle off optional diagnostic data. While Microsoft will still collect basic data, this stops them from gathering additional insights like app usage and system performance. Set feedback frequency to never. There's no reason for Microsoft to nudge you for feedback. Disable both improved inking and typing and tailored experiences. These features use your input data to improve Microsoft products and show personalized ads, which you probably don't want. Finally, expand Delete Diagnostic Data and hit Delete to remove any data that has already been sent. Once done, return to Privacy and Security and head to the Search Permissions section. Toggle off Microsoft Account and Work or School Account to keep your search history private. Scroll down to Turn Off Search History and clear your device search history. For extra privacy, disable search highlights in the More Settings section to avoid unnecessary distractions. App permissions may be causing Microsoft to collect your data. So again, return to the Privacy and Security window and scroll to App Permissions. 
You'll see settings for location, camera, microphone, and more. Each one can be individually controlled. So here's what to do. Start with location. Toggle off location services if you don't need it. For specific apps that require location, enable services and grant access only to those apps. Return and select another app permission and follow similar steps to disable it. The most critical ones to disable here are location, camera, and microphone. Many apps and even companies can misuse these to collect data, including listening to your conversations. You will also do well to set app permissions to specific apps to never run in the background. This can significantly enhance your data privacy by preventing these apps from sending or receiving data when you're not actively using them. Certain apps are more critical to restrict due to their potential to collect sensitive personal information or telemetry data. For this, click on Apps on the left pane and select Installed Apps. Click on the app, then select Advanced Options. Under Background App Permissions, set it to Never. You may want to do this for any app, but most importantly, do it for Copilot, Feedback Hub, Cortana, and all other Microsoft Corporation apps. I would have included McAfee, but it is better you just uninstall this one, as McAfee is mainly bad news. If you are wondering why, check out our other video where we explore apps you should never install on your computer. Next, let's tackle data privacy using the Services app. Another area where Windows might be running processes that track your activity and send data back to Microsoft. One of the main offenders here is the Connected User Experiences and Telemetry Service. Open the Start menu, type Services, and press Enter. This will open a list of all services running on your PC. Scroll down until you find Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Double-click the service to open its properties. Under Startup Type, change the setting from Automatic to Disabled. Next, click the Stop button to halt the service immediately. Finally, hit Apply and OK to save your changes. This service actively collects usage data from your system and sends it to Microsoft for analysis. While this data helps Microsoft improve their products, it's often unnecessary and intrusive for the average person. By disabling it, you're taking another big step toward locking down your privacy. If you have liked the content so far, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also drop your comments if you think there are important solutions we have omitted. The Task Scheduler is a powerful tool that can run automated tasks on your system. While it's useful, it also contains tasks that may compromise your privacy by sending diagnostic data to Microsoft. Let's clean that up. Click the Start button, type Task Scheduler, and hit Enter. In the left-hand pane, expand the following path, Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows. Now, scroll down and locate two specific folders, Application Experience and the Customer Experience Improvement Program folders. Inside these folders, you'll see various tasks. Right-click each task and choose Disable. If you encounter permissions issues or the task cannot be disabled, right-click it again and select Delete instead. Tasks in these folders are designed to collect and send diagnostic data, which helps Microsoft improve user experience. It often involves sharing telemetry and usage data that compromises your privacy. By disabling or deleting these tasks, you prevent unnecessary data collection. I always discourage playing around with the registry because it can mess up a lot of functions. However, drastic times call for drastic measures. Disabling telemetry in the registry will stop your computer from gathering and transferring some of your data to Microsoft. Open the registry editor and navigate to the path displayed on the screen. In the left pane, right-click and select New. Click DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Allow Telemetry. Now double-click this new D word and set its value to zero. This disables telemetry, which is a system-wide collection of usage and diagnostic data. Restart your PC for the changes to take effect. And that will be all for this video. Please remember to like and share as a way to help our small channel. Also, subscribe if this is your first time here. If we have missed any valuable tips, please let us know in the comments. 
Till the next one, stay safe.